Good morning, everybody. It's Lisa at Letting My Heart Take the Lead. Mm, good morning. I just got home from work. So, I worked 12 hours last night. My usual. But, I don't have to be back tonight, so I probably will just nap for just a little bit later on. Um, but it won't do me any good whatsoever to lay down right now because I'm not tired and I would just toss and turn and toss and turn and toss and turn. So I thought I'm just going to show you some more stuff, some more treasures from the flea market. So LMA is still doing good. Honorier than ever. I got all my stuff done yesterday that I wanted to get done. Um, I got my strawberries put up and in the freezer. I have like um, four half gallon bags full, I think. And then I put like a gallon bag of peaches in the um, freezer too. So I was excited about that. That'll Both of those will be good this winter in pies or desserts or whatever. So, or even just thawed and fresh. So anyhow, today I want to get some more, I started cleaning my living room carpets. So um, I want to get the other half done today. And, um, I was going to make me a list of what all I wanted to get done today, but that didn't happen. We were really busy last night at work, so didn't have much downtime, but anyway, so I wanted to get this video posted and then I want to get my carpet finished. Those are my two big things on my list today. Um, so, <laughs> Ellie may knocked off a lot of my herbs last night. I had to leave her because I had to go to work. And Dink was fishing. And so, I had to leave at 5. And he didn't get home until like 8.30, 9 o'clock. And evidently, Ellie may has like some separation anxiety problems. Because <laughs> she like, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, she knocked over several of my herbs. But I guess that's kind of my fault because I have been procrastinating and putting them in the ground outside. And if I had done that, when I started talking about it, I wouldn't have to worry about her knocking them over because they wouldn't have been there. So... Can you tell she can do no wrong right now? Just glad to have her. That she didn't suffer an ill fate. So, okay, well, I'm going to get started. I'm going to show you some stuff. You guys probably get tired of me yapping all the time. So, I'm going to show you some stuff. Um, this has to be cleaned up because he's filthy, filthy, filthy. He's been out playing in the mud see but you can tell from this side what his little face looks like he is adorable and it's a little choo choo train planner choo choo so cute so stinking cute it's not marked on the bottom it's he's got a little chip here on his arm but you know what that is that's That's nothing. So, I'm excited to get him cleaned up and get him listed because I think that somebody will nab him up. He's so cute. And then I've been trying to do some research um, this morning on these little glass bears. Um, 
evidently there's some kind of a souvenir from Stockholm, Sweden, <laughs> um, from their zoo. They're old. So, but I have not been able to find them on eBay. I can't find them anywhere. They're um, Skansen. Um, and it's, they're marked with a sticker, Skansen, and then it says Stockholm Glass or something on it. You have a hard time reading it. But anyhow, one of them's brown. And they're little polar bears, and they're glass. They're hand-blown. Well, no, they're not. They're molded. But anyhow, it's a little pair, polar bear. This one's brown. I don't know where I got the hand blown from. And this one's like a real pretty seafoam green. But anyway, um, I've not been able to find any comps on them. I did find a little squirrel, glass squirrel, that had come from there that was older like these. Selling on Etsy and they were asking, I think, around $20 for it. So, I may put these, like, um, I don't do a whole lot of auctions. I usually do buy it now. Because, and this is the reason why. Because, it, there's good and bad to it. Okay, so, the good part of buy it now. Good part to buy it now is that when they click on that item and say, yeah, buy it now it takes them straight to the checkout they have to check out and and they have to pay you for it right then and there so if I put it at buy it now and put a fixed price on it then like I said you know I'm guaranteed that payment because it they have to immediately pay for it but the downside to that is if, like, on these little things, I'm not really sure what they're worth. And I've not been able to find anything yet to compare them to. So if I was to list those now and list them at, you know, $19 or $20, and then somebody, you know, buys them both, well then I turn around and find out that they was worth like, you know, 30 or 40, then I've not, you know, made what I could have made on them. But the downside to the auction part is, yeah, you can start, you know, a starting bid so I could put a starting bid of eight you know 18 or 19 dollars whatever I wanted out of them and let it go and see where they you know see where they end up I could get more money but then the buyer has like three days to pay after winning the auction I've been burnt twice now where somebody has bid on something on auction won it and then never heard another word out of them and couldn't get payment for it so then I had to relist it and everything so I just have I don't know I just have a hard time with auction it seems like I don't know Buy it now is usually what I do, but we'll see. Uh, I'll keep looking and see if I can find more information about it. About these little dudes and get them up. I got these salt and pepper shakers. And um, they're not marked. It looks like maybe one of them had a sticker at one time on the bottom. It's got some residue on it. But they're really pretty. They need cleaned up. They've got like a grape design, paisley design flowers on it. I don't know whether you guys can see. See them? 
that they're gold. One of them doesn't have the stopper. They put tape on there. But I thought they were really pretty. So I got those. I'll be cleaning those up and they probably won't go for much, but they were too pretty to send to a landfill. Then I got this little bitty, little bitty, like face, or I don't know, urn or something, little miniature, and it's stamped on the bottom, made in England. So I got that. I don't know. I may put, I may put this in my printer's drawer up there. I need some more stuff to go in there. It's not real full. Um, I got this ooh, pair of vases. These are so pretty. They're like little bud vases. They're left in. They've got the sticker on the bottom that says left in. But look at them. They're like little vases, but they flowers. They've got this little bud that wraps around and this leaf. Now this leaf here does have like kind of a little rough feeling toward the edge, but it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't look like it's chipped or anything, but both of them look like they probably should have had another leaf. See, right in there. And on both of them, it's broke. It's not there. I just seen that. But you really can't tell. But I thought they were pretty. So I may give those a shot and see what happens. Um, I love this. Isn't this pretty? Actually, it's supposed to hang like this. It's got a hole. See right there. You can hang it up. But isn't that pretty? Needs cleaned. So, I don't know about that. I love it. I love those red. It reminds me of like red poppies. And I love daisies. And I love poppies. So, may I find something to do with that. And keep it. Now, this little thing was is marked with like HJB. It says Czechoslovakia. Some kind of a little dish. I'm anxious to look it up. It's got a little scene inside. They're being romantic. They're setting. And he's telling her how much he loves her. But it's got this real neat um, metal like leaves around it. So I'm anxious to look this up and see what that is. Because I think it will be good. And then, oh, I got myself this. I love these vases. These, like, I think they're maybe called swung glass vases. I don't know. But this is a milk glass. Um, I don't think it's anything special. It's, I don't see any marks on the bottom right off, but, um, it's got a hobnail down at the bottom and then this little bitty opening, but, um, I don't know. I've been wanting some of these, some of those faces. So I picked that one up and the next thing, this is going to be fun. I have got, okay, so this is like, I don't know if it's plastic, um, 
made in Hong Kong. This vintage plastic boot. Look at it. I think they must have had some kind of like flowers or something down in it. But I want to repaint this as a witch's boot for Halloween. <laughs> How cute will that be? I am so excited. I will have to show it to you when I'm done. Okay, then I picked, uh, I picked up these bookends. I seen her first and I thought, oh, she's so cute. That would look so cute in a little girl's room, this bookend. They're um, it says created by, I think Carl Bernard, made in Japan. It's a sticker on it. This stuff's dirty, guys. I got to clean that up. But then a few boxes down, I find a headless boy. That, I found the head. So it's pretty rough around there because it looks like somebody has tried to glue it, try to fix it at one time. But I'm going to try to glue him, repair him. But it's the little girl and the little boy. How cute are those? He just lost his head. Boy, Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Because, yeah, see, he cracked his head. Jack fell down and broke his crown. Silly boy. Silly boy, Jack. Okay. What else do we got? Oh, these are cute. These were made in Mexico. It says Mexico on the bottom. They're like folk art. They're like um, Mexican folk art. Salt and pepper shakers. How cool are those? So I am expecting those to sell. They probably won't bring them a whole lot. But um, I have done well with like... Mexican folk art stuff. Sorry, I wobbled the camera. And yes, I have Diet Mountain Dew in there. <laughs> and then I think I was telling you guys that I wanted to do some of those assemblage crafts where you do the little scenes and stuff, you know? So I bought, I got these. There's two of them. But I got those for crafting. I can't get them apart right at the moment. But I bought those for crafting. And then um, here's another Hallmark ornament. This one's real cute. It's, um, it's like a little acorn, I think. Little acorn house. Oh, it's dated, but it says New Home 1994 on the back. But... You know, you wouldn't necessarily have to show the back. I mean, it's just a cute little acorn. Look, they got a little chimney on it. So, you can look in their little home. I didn't know it was dated. Sometimes when they're dated like that on the ornament, they're harder to get. Especially when they're, it specifies like new home or uh, stuff like that, birth or adoption and it has the year. Uh, then I got this other planner. I thought he's a little weird looking, but you can tell he's old. He's vintage. Um, it's USA Pottery. But he's got a little blue hat. I like his little blue outfit, actually. So he's a little, little different looking. Oh, guys. Okay. <laughs> so Kevin 
and Tracy are the names of the ones that run the flea market spot that I source from, that I get so much stuff from. And I have actually went in and helped them set up their stuff before. Um, just because they give me such a good deal on stuff. But we kind of have this running joke where, you know, one time Kevin found a hand that had been broke off like a figurine, you know. And he came up and was like, um, here you look like you could use an extra hand and he gave it to me. And so, anyhow, so it's been kind of a running joke. Anytime any of us find a hand broken off of something, we give it to each other and say, oh, here's your hand for today or something, you know. Well, look what I found. And I love this thing. But there is no way on God's creation that I can keep it. As much as I love it and think it is so neat, I have no idea what I would ever do with it. <laughs> So, I'm going to have to clean it up, and it's going to have to go on eBay. Oh, wait! This could be really cool at Halloween. It's hand. It's glass. Look at it. How cool would that be at Halloween? Like, sitting on the table and having like a votive candle or something in it. I just found a reason to keep it. Isn't this so cool? I love it. Here's your hand. Hi. Hi. Oh, my glasses are falling down. Isn't this, I mean, I was just, I was like, you are kidding me. I have got, got to get this. So, I did. Um, I'm always afraid I'm going to carry a mouse home in these boxes, I'll tell you. I got me some, tea, uh, some measuring spoons because you can never have enough. And then there's, I picked up several of these really cute old vintage Christmas ornaments. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get these things cleaned up enough to do anything with them or to sell them. But they all have this um, red and white gingham. It's this little pot belly stove. The boot. There's um, there's a poodle. There's all kinds of different ones, but like I said, I just don't know whether I'm going to be able to get them cleaned up enough. Um, I got these little pair of salt and pepper shakers. thought they were really pretty. The metal's kind of corroded. Um, I'm not going to show you all those ornaments because they're just... Oh, I did get um, a set, and I probably won't dig all of them out either, but I got these, this little set of um, wooden ornaments. I picked them up. There were several. Um, I can't read the date on them. But anyhow, there's, they were Snoopy themed. Here's Woodstock in the stocking. But there's several of them that's um, Snoopy themed, and I really thought those were cute and then I of course you know me I've got to have I pick up any cookie cutter I see and then I got this little bottle brush tree that's filthy that I'm gonna do clean up and do some crafts with I picked up this dish it needs to be cleaned it's filthy but um, this was made in England you know, it's some kind of like, I guess it's like a little gravy boat or something. Um, it doesn't have really much of a design other than it looks, but 
that looks like like a peach tree or something in it. And that, I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, here's some more of these little. Oh, no, these aren't. Oh, this one is. This one's part of the Snoopy. Oh! Snoopy collection. Woodstock. These are just plain wooden ornaments. Oh, see, here's another one of these. And look at it. It's so cute, but gosh, you're dirty. It's a, a turtle. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get those cleaned up or not. Those are really, really, really dirty. And then, you know, I've been picking up a lot of paperweights. This one has to be washed. But I think these are raspberries. There's some kind of a berry. I don't, they look, they're bumpy. They've got a texture. Holly's not bumpy. So, I'm thinking maybe red raspberries. I don't know. But, you know how I like my, to do my paperweights. I'm kind of going through this fast. I'm just kind of, hmm. And then I picked up these two little kitty cats. Who doesn't like a kitty cat with a butterfly on their tail? Um, it's marked Taiwan, so it's not. And then here's a kitty cat with a ball. It kind of almost looks like a soccer ball. Um, some Wedgwood. A Wedgwood vase. It's really pretty. It's got little cherubs on it. I don't know a whole lot about Wedgwood, but we'll be finding out. I know a lot of sellers sell a lot of it. Oh, here's look. Here's Linus. He's so cute. Then I got these. Look at. Where'd the other one go? Look at these big vintage clip on earrings. Blue. They match my glasses. Look, I can wear these and sit out of my. Perfect match. Matchy match. Uh, oh, we're about to the end. I saw the light. Oh, I picked up this brooch. I found this brooch, but the back of it is broken. But it doesn't have a clasp on it. But... Um, It looks like it may have a stamp on it, so I'm going to look it up and see. And then I got these old clip-on earrings that are dangly dangles. Wobbly wobblers. Then I got this little dish that's shaped like, this is marked Made in Japan on the bottom. It's old. It's got some really good crazing to it. Um... It's a little handled section dish. And then I just got some, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so I love cherries and strawberries and everything. But the only bad thing about Kevin and Tracy's thing is like everything is so 
like so mixed up, like um, stuff that they bring out one weekend, you may find like these, these cute little snack sets that's got these little cherries on it that I absolutely love. Um, but then, but they didn't have the teacups with them. But maybe two weeks later, they open the box that has teacups in it and somebody else may get those. You know, it's that's the only thing that I don't. But I picked up this, um, it's Haviland, China, Limoges, France. I love it. And I'm really thinking about finding out what that pattern is. And seeing how it's priced or how expensive it is. I could, I could definitely go to have some Haviland China in my life. But to use at Thanksgiving, I think it would be so pretty. Especially that with that gold and brown and beige in it so anyway well guys I've rambled for uh, almost 32 minutes so ew, oh it's like nails on chalkboard um, I'm gonna go and figure out what I'm gonna do with my life today and uh, hopefully get some things accomplished um, and not be miserably tired doing it. That's the only bad thing about coming off of a midnight and not having to go back that night. It's like, you don't know, do I sleep? Do I not sleep? So anyhow, um, you guys take care, stay safe, be kind, be awesome. See ya. Bye.